Today is Earl Morash's 100th birthday, but what makes his birthday truly remarkable? is where he was born. Yeah, on December 30th, 1915, Earl was born in the original Peggy's Cove Lighthouse. So today, I had the privilege of learning more about his life. Oh, I tell you, this is a big day. Yeah. It certainly is for Earl Morash. He's celebrating a remarkable 100th birthday. Sing for your birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Where his life story started is also incredible. On December 30th, 1915, he was born in the original Peggy's Cove Lighthouse. The, the old one that was there was the one that I was born in. There were no lighthouse down there then. Only uh, the one that they built way back. Then they got one built. The lighthouse was established long before the one that we know today was built. See, my father, he was lighthouse keeper. That's where they lived, in the, in the little house. And it had a light on the top, you know, and that was the lighthouse until they built the one that's there now. It's where Earl lived until he was two years old. He's been a go-getter ever since, including building his own house. And he was a hard worker. He helped build the road from a cow path down from Cantown to Peggy's Cove. This is when he was 92. He was cutting down one of the branches of a tree. There he is there. His place of birth also holds another special place in his heart. Earl and his wife, Benita, visited every anniversary. I was surprised when he first told me he was 87. He was helping somebody put a window in the house. It's hard for me. It was hard for me to believe at that time. He's also the oldest living person born in the iconic location. As for his advice for getting to triple digits, eat your veggies, enjoy the odd glass of rum, and... That's one, and this is the other one. <laughs> yeah. Good advice from someone who knows.